First off, I am divorced, and I live in a van down by the river. All right, hopefully I got this framed out right. <laughs> kind of an unusual way of doing it. <clears throat> I have my little camera set up on a tripod with a light below it, light above it. But I can't see the back of the camera, so I put my phone in selfie mode. Anyways, <laughs> this was just a quick one because I thought about something and I wanted to get it drawn out. So, I have to change glasses so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Um... And I noticed, too, that in the sh framing shot, you can see shorts. I can assure you these are shorts, not my legs. Um, they're khaki, so I didn't want anybody to think I was nude. <laughs> Stupid joke. It's Friday. It's been a long week. So, one of the problems I came into tying poppers in the past, and I've probably tied, Jesus, a dozen dozen? And Google just thought I said, oh, because I said cheese. Yeah, I said Jesus, and it thought I said cheese and took a photo. God, you got to love Google. They do some weird stuff. Anyways, tying poppers in the past. The problem I had is you always crowd the eye when you go to put the popper on. I don't know. Maybe you guys have seen this trick before. I have never seen it, so we're using... Give you guys a chance to get a look at it. So that's the Surface Seducer. The double barrel popper. Which I love these things. I've tied them. Tied some up last year for somebody in a two. I think it was. I know I've got some hooks here. Yeah, must, I use Mustad size two. The uh, 33903. And these. It's down here. I'm actually using the Umqua. U504, so, um, anyways, just a quick and dirty little trick on these, once I mash the barb, there's always a debate, you know, you make a video and you don't mash the barb, and then somebody gets a case of the ass and says, hey, you didn't mash the barb, well, you know what, I usually mash them before I fish, and if I'm tying them for somebody else, unless they specify it, I don't mash the barb um, because some people do fish for food so <laughs> that's enough of that little argument that's flat enough god I love this peak place um, alright so one of the common tricks is you get it in there you tie up tie up tie up and you come up you know you're constantly eyeballing you know where you want it to go and what I'm going to do first is penetrate the, the popper head. This thing is so small. <laughs> These are on a size 6. And, you know, same rule applies. Be careful when you're piercing these things because you can very easily pierce yourself. And I need to get a better, I'm a little bit off center. Yeah, you know what, that'll work. Fish don't care. It's funny how much we tie and we make things super pretty. And bottom line is you get there and the fish don't care. And it just dawned on me. I don't have any glue. And, oh, wait, I do have some right there. Okay, so we pierced it front and back. Long story short, let's get in here and we're going to tie in just real quick. I know somebody's already going, oh my god, he's got so much slack. I'm going to make sure I get enough of a base to glue to. Doesn't have to be perfect right here. Nobody's counting threads. Nobody's going to judge it. You can't see it once the popper head's on. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I mean, this is one of those things that's like, why in the hell didn't I think of this before? So, real quick, wrong size piece, but it'll work for the purpose of this video. 
and yeah, I hate videoing myself, but it's just a stupid little tip. So that's it. Put your bed of thread, thread bed of thread. No, I got that right. You can use super glue, whatever you want to use. Zap a gap, doesn't matter. Whatever floats your boat. So, and that's it. Now that you've got it on there, I try to keep the glue now towards the front because as you push through, and be very careful doing this because I have lanced myself I don't know how many times, and this is pushing. So another quick trick is if you've got these little brass heads. Oh, see, I just lanced myself. <laughs> But that's it. So now, bed it, level it, let your glue dry, and see, I didn't lance myself. I stuck myself, but didn't draw blood, so we're good. That's it, let your glue dry, make sure your head's level, give it a couple of minutes, and then you're free to tie all the way up. Um, I know this will come up, so we'll just do this now some guys I suck with whip finishing tools <laughs> I honestly do I have tried and tried and tried and tried and tried can't get a hang of it and this particular thread that I have is brutal as far as being strong this is the Danville 140 I don't know how many of you guys have used it but anyways just and give myself enough. Just hand whip it. Just give it a couple twists. Pull it over. If you want to, you can use your bodkin to help you keep it tight. But that's it. So you can finish all the way up against the head. Your head is glued. It's in the right place. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, so this one's actually a little malformed. I see that. You know, it's like I used to not notice stuff like this, but now... I work for an injection molding company, and now I see, you know, the little part lines. It's foam, but it still works the same general concepts. But I love these things, these little double barrel poppers. I'm going to tie up a bunch of them. They have um, matching eyes, or you can do different color eyes. For the ones I'm tying for myself, I actually got the 3mm um, Tropics. It's a little yellow and black, kind of a devilish look to them. Yeah, these are from Flyman Fly Fishing Company. Great stuff. And of course, <laughs> it's, always, it's hard to get me away from Umqua or Mustad hooks, but um, at least for warm water. We talked about this at the uh, Midwest Ankara Fest a couple weeks ago. Everybody has their favorites on hooks, but um, for warm water, I love the Umquas and the Mustads. They're just bulletproof hooks I'm trying to think of some other stuff what else we got so yeah we will be doing some more videos coming up here soon with my buddy Jim I've got some size 6 kink shanks from Mustad uh, so I bought some Umquids and I didn't need them <laughs> I bought these I don't know 6 months ago or whatever um, articulated shanks I'm going to do a couple little arties coming up for everybody because there's some of these that I just love futzing around with and the thing is is half of my tie I don't fish I'll probably do some salt water coming up these rotating worm hooks got these to try a couple flies shank is too short right here above the bend so you end up using I used some little, it's essentially piano wire, and looped it through the eye, bent it, looped it back, tied it in line, and then tied onto that. But you can, you'd probably use 50-pound mono. Yeah, anyways, little ideas, things to play with. Bye, catch you later.